Grant! You haven't told Mum and Dad. They got enough on their plate without worrying about you. Looking after some strange girl. She's not strange. Mr. Tumai's her grandfather. Monty Tumai has no family living in New Zealand. Hey, I think you better fill me in with a few facts about this. Um... Hannah. Yeah, Hannah. Where are you from, Hannah? You don't believe me. He is my grandfather. All right. Why are you interested in our family? Okay. I'm from Sydney. I think the cops might be after me. I've done a runner. Have you? Well, sort of. I came over here to stay with my auntie in Auckland. Then there was this newspaper story. Thought I'd come down and stay with my grandfather. <sighs> Didn't work out. He's not here. I don't see the connection, but go on. I'm trying to find out who my old man is. My dad. All I know is, his name's Johnston. Why don't you drive it off a cliff, claim the insurance, and get something that goes. What insurance? Hey, uh, Wendy, you know anything about legal gobbledygook? I'm a hairdresser. Yeah, well, if, if for, oh, here, just hold that for a sec. Yeah, if Uncle Gordon is getting the benefit of all this cash that's floating around, then. Hey. I don't, oh, here we go. Guess what? Oh, what if our dad's been playing around? Oh, what do you mean? You know, having it off. Oh, grand. There's this girl showed up. Said her dad's a Johnston. Oh, radical, man. Really? I've got my savings, I've got a flat in town. I expect you to help with the children. 24 years of marriage out of the blue. You know what I said to her finally? Janine, not now, not before the family reunion. Well, it's not really out of the blue, is it? I mean, it's been shaky for years. Has it? <laughs> you know more than I do, Dan. Dad. <sighs> There's no third party. Janine. Dan. Or you. You know, something from the past, niggling away. <laughs> Another woman. Nah. OK. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Neil. Mike, because he's not married. Yeah, well, it doesn't quite feel right for Uncle Graham. It's a bit long distance for Gordon. Who does she look like? She looks great. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hannah Johnston, part Maori. <laughs> doesn't sort of fit the family tree, really. Well, how come you haven't mentioned the number one choice? What? Uncle Haddon? <laughs> no. You're old, man. <laughs> Why did I let Katie talk me into playing cricket? Oh, you love it. How come you got out of it? Oh, rugby injury. Works every time. <laughs> Why don't you compromise? Have your own space here. You know, you can live your own life under the same roof. People do it all the time. I mean, leaving's so drastic. Dad'll never cope. And how we survive in the city, anyway. People change, you know. I've never thought of you and Dad as being just static. I mean, I get on well with both of you. So how come it's so easy for me? I mean, for all his, all his faults, Dad's never... He's never been unfaithful, has he? Don't badger me. I've got to go, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> ah! What do you want this, Uncle? Third man boundary. 
Yeah, that'll be right. Well done. He's a fine young man. <laughs> Graham, don't forget Easter. You're all coming to our batch at Tutakaka. Tons of space. Sounds wonderful. Walk this way or I'll say it in front of everyone. Say what? You really are spineless. Like whenever anything's too difficult, have a chat with Janine. See if you can talk your mum around. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, exactly. You're doing it again. Now you've got it wrong. What did I do? Like you're not understood. Well, don't you dare you stand against me. I didn't. No, I'm not interested. OK, we had an agreement. I'd stay the weekend. I'd smile nicely at all the functions. I'd listen to all the boring gossip. And you'd shut up and there'd be no more blackmail. And you couldn't resist using your son to do your dirty work, could you? Right. Agreement broken. Right. Just one more chance. Yeah, but not for you. Not for you, for the children. I promise, if there's one more squeak, I'll blow this whole sham and I'll be out of here so fast you won't even have time to say goodbye to Katie. The Johnstons came to New Zealand from Scotland almost exactly to the day a hundred years ago. They developed this land. Uh, some of them stayed here, some went on to other parts of New Zealand. And we are the descendants of those hard-working pioneers. And I'm proud to, tea, to see so many of you here today for the centenary. Before I kick off this cricket match, <laughs> I would like, uh, on your behalf, to make a special mention to two wonderful people who have put so much time and trouble into this uh, into this wonderful occasion. Janine and Graham. Thank you.